elbows. The new rules along. This is going to be a tight, scrambling, punching game. But I think if Melendez can throw some elbows, he can cut Kawajiri. And the numbers. Kawajiri taking on the champion, Melendez. Yeah, and all the numbers fall in Melendez's favor on this one. He's got two inches in the reach, uh, in the height, and he's got another two inches over here in the reach. For a puncher, that's the game. Now let's go inside the cage where Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by for the introduction. All right, fans, here we go as Strike Force and Showtime present five five minute rounds for the Strike Force World Lightweight Championship. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. Standing at five feet seven inches, he weighed in at 154 and one quarter pounds. Specializing in wrestling, his record stands at 27 wins, six losses, and two draws. Please welcome the challenger and the hard-hitting former Shudo World Champion from Inashiki, Japan, introducing Tatsuya Crusher Kawajiri. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, standing at five feet nine inches. He weighed in at 154 and three quarter pounds with a record of 18 wins, two losses, with 10 knockouts and one submission to his credit. From San Francisco by way of Santa Ana, California, here is the two-time and current Strike Force lightweight champion of the world, introducing Gilbert El Nino Melendez. And our referee in charge now to give instructions, Cecil Peoples. Have a good fight, guys. Protect us of all time. Keep your hand up, protect us of all time. Five round world championship. Good luck. Gilbert, over here. Gilbert, over here. Gilbert. Right under there. Under there. Right here. All right, we are ready. Five. Five minute rounds for the Strike Force World a Lightweight Ready? title. Ready? Melendez, the champion in black. Kawajiri, the challenger in red. They do it for the second time. 21 of their combined 45 wins have ended via form of knockout. I don't want to jinx it, and maybe I just did, but this one has fight of the year written all over it. Two of the very best of the respective weight class. And that fight back in 2006 was a man. Melendez drops Kawajiri. Well, they traded jabs and felt the range, but the first strike now the leads. Melendez. Another right hand behind the ear of Kawajiri. Melendez catches the leg. Melendez looking sharp to start this fight. Good head movement, level changes by Gilbert. Great shoulder movement and head movement by Gilbert Melendez. Now, he takes a high kick. Knee. He falls down. Another right hand. Melendez takes his back now. He's a man on a mission. He is smoking. Baby needs a new pair of shoes, boy. He's getting them. He's getting them all. He's letting Kawajiri recover, though. He's got to either go for a hold or back away and get back to that game. Melendez is 8-1 in Strike Force, a two-time and current Strike Force lightweight champion. Kawajiri overwhelmed in this first round, and we still have 3.14 to go. Kawajiri, a former Shudo champion in Japan, trying to become the first Japanese fighter to win a major North American Championship. Kawajiri's getting wrist control there, trying to break out of this body lock position. Beautiful uppercuts by Melendez. 
Outlanding Kawajiri 28 to 9 thus far in total strikes landed according to CompuStrike. It has been an onslaught from the get-go. Cecil Peoples looking in. Nice level trajectory elbow. That Another hand. right hand by Melendez coming over the top of the jab. And I think that elbow cut Kawajiri. Melendez is boxing superior. He's a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Under Caesar Gracie. I think last time these guys fought, Kawajiri surprised Melendez with his power. But it's not going to happen this time. I think you had a good point there, Frank. After the initial brutal barrage of punches, Melendez relaxing now, giving Kawajiri a chance, but still Woo! picking him off with that right hand. That right hand devastating. Right on the chin again. Kawajiri shooting. Nice sprawl. Look at the quick punches by Best Gilbert Melendez. Life. He is just beating him up. Elbows. It's over. It's over. Gilbert Melendez put it on him. Period. Elbows. An annihilation. He eviscerated him with the elbows. Gilbert Melendez saying thank you for allowing elbow strikes and strike force. An unbelievable display of offensive technique. told us before the fight, Josh said that having faced both of them, he thought that Kawajiri was more physically stronger than El Nino. And Josh, you join us now, buddy. What did you think of this performance? The, the one thing I want to say is that he, what he did is he never let Kawajiri get a hold of him. And every time they got to the clinch, he let the knees go right away, kept Kawajiri guessing what he was doing, kept dipping his head. When they got close, he kneed right away, and it was very effective. Kawajiri had to get out of the clinch right away. How is your recovery going, Josh? Uh, it's right now everything's good, you know, we're just uh, taking it one day at a time Hopefully by May 1st we'll know the details once it gets off Rubber of course, match, rubber match I, I'm always licking my chops, you know, especially for the belt But I got nothing but respect for Gilbert He's uh, He just showed right there, he's one of the best, if not if not the best fighter in the world what do, you think, what do you think about his performance tonight? Just I thought, I really honestly believed that a whole year off that it would be that, that he might have some ring rust. There was no ring rust. He came in motivated and ready to go, and it showed right off the bat. El Nino brought the deluge of strikes here, Frank. Oh, he came in, and he ate one right there. Right in the beginning, like I said, they were fencing with that jab, but the first good shot was landed by Gilbert Melendez, and it just downhill from there. That head movement, that rolling of the shoulders, it let him miss that first punch and counter with the right hand, counter with the knee. Those knees were money, Josh, right up on the inside, in the bread basket. Just solid, solid, never, and you're right, Josh, he never let him up, never no, let him get power. No, no, he, no, he never let him set. That's called the killer instinct, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and here's the end. Just dipping that shoulder, good, clean right. You see it drove Kawajiri back there. Another one, another one, rumbled his legs. He's wobbled, that uppercut wobbled him. And it's just a matter of nailing him down right here. What a nice finish, and those elbows. I knew those elbows from Gilbert were gonna be dangerous, it, but buddy. oh my goodness. I think he just showed tonight he's the number one fighter right now in the world in the lightweight division. Yeah, and I think you spell elbows H-E-L-L. -L. All right, with the official announcement here, the decision of this fight, here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, with the time of three minutes, 14 seconds in round number one, our referee in charge, Cecil People, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the Strike Force lightweight champion of the world, Gilbert El Nino Melendez. No time, you went at him from the very beginning. That's my style, man, that's how we train. Um, you know, I, I don't know how to fight any other way, bro. If I, uh, if I wait, I usually do bad. What was the difference between this fight and the first fight? How are you different? Um, you know, I'm, I'm a man now, bro. It's been a long time and I've been training hard. I got great partners like Jake Shields, Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz, Daniel Roberts, Phil Baldacki, Juan Nunez, Josh Clopton, Ninja Jordan Felix, Johnny Carson. 
fuck, shoot, I can't remember all you guys. I love you guys. Scrap back, everybody. I just have a great team. Hey, I got, let me, I'm sorry, bro. This is quick. I think we could uh, thank a couple people. Mark Meehan, thank you, my strength coach. Albert, my, uh, my trainer, uh, my dad, Balu, my girl, the tripod. Um, my mom, what's up? I got a dollar, Layla K, eight months, dude. It's so much more emotional now because I got a little girl. I love her so much. It was for you, baby girl. All right, you've staked your claim as possibly. As your fans appreciate your effort, you've staked your claim as possibly the number one lightweight in the world. Who do you want to face next? I'll tell you what, I think it's time we unify some titles. Who wants to see me fight for that UFC title that's unifying in my hexagon? I'm the number one lightweight in the world, baby. I'm coming for the spot. Thank you so much. He's the Gracie fight team. Jokes and on Fairtex. Thank you, guys. My boy Jake Shields right here. The next UFC champ. Nah.